this first album here is a Norwegian band Torke, which is Norwegian for fog. Or After fog? Yeah. Nice, I didn't know it's that. Fog. So he made uh, three concept albums. Uh, the last one was in 2005, the last one of the trilogy. The special thing about these, these albums is uh, there's no writing on the covers, it's just uh, the pictures. There's no writing on the back of the covers. None of the songs are named anything. And there are no refrains in the songs to give them... No chorus? Yeah, there's no chorus. And uh, if you open the pamphlet or leaflet, uh, everything is written in runes. Nice. Yeah. And even if you translate it, it's, uh, it's in Norwegian. And it's not in common Norwegian, it's in uh, the dialect from Bergen. Oh, okay. So there's more than one uh, Norwegian than oh, that's all language, kinds of, all dialect. Kinds of dialects. You know, uh, uh, in every, uh, in every language, uh, country of origin, there will be um, more variation to a language than uh, to any country that the right. language has been exported to. You can see that in the UK as well. Yeah. You know, the, the dialects oh, yeah, across true. the I United Kingdom, they, they are much more varied. Like the Iron, Iron Man is different than England, yeah. Yeah, and I, and I, yeah, it makes sense. I, I suspect that if you go to France, there'll be more uh, variance in uh, the dialectal variations in France then there'll be across Canada. The more weird uh, French Probably, dialect. yeah. We have a couple places that have weird different accents, but yeah, it would make sense that the original country would have more. Yeah, so, you know, it, it's basically um, that that really applies for any language you know That's true. E even though you could say for for instance the US is a big country and um, there are lots of different dialects they don't vary as much somebody who's from up in the north uh, east they completely understand somebody from the uh, southwest you know but you can go to yeah. you can go to England you have different accents but yeah yeah and uh, you know, abroad there's uh, much more a uh, difference in uh, accents, or the huge dialect variations when you get them uh, where the language ori originated. So that applies for France, it applies for uh, the UK, it, it applies for Norway, for Sweden, for Denmark, for for any country where the language originated. You'll have uh, the issue of uh, huge dialect variation and that's the thing in Norway too people who come from the east particularly around the capital of Oslo they have huge huge uh, difficulties understanding any other dialect in oh Norway. really yeah but that's basically because most most Norwegian mainstream media is uh, in uh, eastern Norwegian and uh, if they interview somebody from other parts of the country or if they send a journalist to other parts of the country even if they have local journalists there they'll send somebody from an east part of the country who talks the eastern Norwegian dialect but anyway this is uh, getting uh, a bit off the topic though so this is the Bergen <laughs> yeah. Bergen is, as you know, the uh, second largest uh, city in Norway. It's, uh, it's a lovely town. A lot, a lot of old buildings there, and uh, it's nested uh, on the coast between seven mountains, which are called the Seven Sisters. And uh, it always rains. 
always. <laughs> so it's cold, Sounds it's like miserable, a and it's dark. And it's one of the great breeding grounds for Norwegian black men. Yeah, I won the war. So yeah, you have bands like Torque coming from there, and uh, of course uh, Immortal and uh, Old Funeral and uh, Person. Oh yeah, that's true. He was from there too. Yeah, so uh, so they're all part of the. Well, they were all part of the. You know, very black the inner so. circle. See so, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Uh, the um, the concept uh, albums uh, basically. Um, the third album, third and final concept album, you know, uh, called uh, Hordaland's Death Squad, which means uh, the death song of Hordaland, which is the region where Bergen lies. The two previous uh, al albums were, the first one was Nattes Ti Ser Portenvid, Nighttime Opens uh, the Gates. The second one was uh, over Björgvin, Grot or Himmerik, which is over Björgvin, the heavens cry, or Björgvin being the old name of Bergen. And the last one, for the last that squad. And uh, this uh, album is mostly about uh, hatred, murder, Suicide, insanity, and bestiality. Happy emotions. Perfect topics for uh, black metal. So, yeah, uh, the the recent talk is very much regarded as one of the true Norwegian black metal uh, bands, is because they have a lot of a uh, lot of inspiration from Norwegian folk music in, uh, in their tracks. So, unless you're very familiar with Norwegian folk music, you might just think of it as peculiar, but for Norwegians, it's instantly recognizable. So, let's go ahead. I guess a lot of a lot of those bands have some of it. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, Norwegian folk music is black metal, and vice versa. Right. So, yeah. This as is an outsider, I don't... I don't always notice it, but yeah. Yeah. So, this is the first uh, track, which isn't called anything, like all the other tracks. <laughs> I like that. Oh shit. I'm gonna die. Okay. Well, I'm dead. Where were you shot from? Shotgun. This was the song of my death. Debbie swears, how are you? Mother, mother, fuck, mother, mother, fuck, fuck, mother, fuck, mother, fuck, noise, noise. 
Nice little Smoking slide weed, there. Thanks for the host, Debbie. Doing quite all right, except for my buddy dying up in town here. And I have only got a machete against the shotgun. It's pretty trashy. Yeah, it is. It's kind of less experimental on the final album than the previous two. You can say that the final al album is uh, a lot more um, listener friendly anyway. Oh, okay. This is the one that we will listen to? Yeah. So where were you when they shot you? Mister. Yeah, I, I'm right outside Mister. Where in Mister? Uh, uh, pretty much in the middle. Where did they come from? The guy shot me with a shotgun. He came from uh, the other side of the fence. <laughs> I really couldn't tell you precisely. Oh, that's right, Debbie. The stick. The sticks are OP. I will die trying to avenge you. Get a poker stick. Hello. 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 Come on, pitchfork. Yeah, baby. Vocals are pretty good. Yeah, Hell Commander, not the first, he's, um, he's a guest vocalist on this track. You know, from uh, Kabaki Forest. Not the first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I wouldn't live with the bags of <laughs> His voice is pretty different than in Carpathian Forest in this. He's a great vocalist, though.
That was a pretty good song. See ya. Anyway, uh, yeah, th this tr uh, this album is banging. The uh, next song now has a lot more uh, necro sound to it. Some of the riffs are just to die for. Lyrics are about that as well. You know, not to dying for a song, but in general, dying. You just got pretty quiet. This riff is pretty good. I think I heard this one before. It sounds familiar. Put it on your playlist. That might be when I heard it. Well, I mean, it's not the first time I'm listening to this band, anyways, but. I don't know them as much. I really like the sound of the album. Everything is clear but not overproduced. Oh, welcome back. So yeah, while we were away, I was saying uh, that <laughs> I really like the, the the sound of the album. The, the production is pretty good. It's clean but not overproduced. Yeah. 
Well, it's uh, produced by Pitten. No idea who that is. Oh, Pitten is the one who um, produced a lot of uh, the classical um, Norwegian black metal albums. From both uh, Mayhem oh. and Enslaved, Gorgoth, uh, Bruxum, uh, Immortal. All their old albums were uh, produced by Pitten, basically. He's the producer uh, up in uh, Greg Holland in Berlin. And he's responsible for mo most of the black metal classics that we know. That's, that's why it sounds like that, I guess. That's so classic though, the, the riff playing on one side and then everything starts together after a couple yeah. repetitions. So classic, but it's so good. We did that on my on one of the songs in my band too. <laughs> in my uh, black metal band. Fucking god, I'm completely stuck to the wall here. Completely what? Yes, he played. <laughs> What's going on? I'm rubber banding uh, back and forth from the wall. Can't get away oh. from the wall. Yeah, Ray, this server uh, might be jacked. Oh, you man. This is a good, powerful, but sad riff. <laughs> good to see you again, Grim. Oh, rubber banding has 
the rubber band has to prevent him from going north. It's weird, I, I'm not having any rubber bending right now. Zombies are laggy as hell. But... Pretty much at the last town before the corner on the east side. Like before going back to Kamishovo. So I can head inland from here and you can meet somewhere. The rubber bending. Yeah. <laughs> I love the, the, that sound, that will sound, it, it sounds like disgust. Yeah. <clears throat> you heard the, the art of spiritual purification by not Yeah. Yeah, it's some puke. It, it's pretty cool.
confusing. Yeah, a bit rubber banding still. I was 100 meters off the road and uh, and I suddenly rubber banded back inside the building. Oh, wow. You wanna, oh shit, you wanna change server? Right. Yeah, it's electro. What's the name of the album again? Hold on, Skits Club. Okay, I won't remember that. <laughs> it's too Norwegian to remember. <laughs> Have you died by the guy in the uh, Mista? What's the guy with the motorcycle helmet? Uh, I can't remember. Probably. All I remember is he had the shotgun. Yeah, it, it was uh, in the center of Mista. Yeah, yeah. Must be the same guy. Oh shit, there's a guy here. He's going the way I wanted to go. What? So what year was this released? This was released in 2005. Oh, it's more recent than I thought. My book just went ballistic in chat. I would have thought like late 90s. Well, the first one in the concept series, I think, was uh, 99, and the second one was 2002, and uh, oh, okay. the third one was uh, 2005. And the penis is Yeah, I guess that. it takes a bit of time for me to 
Just a little uh, thing for um, those of you who don't know what I mean about the penis thing. The penis thing. Oh. Yeah. Back, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, in, I uh, forgot about it, but yeah, now I remember. Back in uh, 2002. When, when those balls were hanging out. Yeah. On the Inferno Metal Festival. Uh, the one of the two biggest metal festivals at the time in Norway he um, his jeans were uh, ripped in the crotch and his balls and uh, yeah, his balls were hanging out I would have showed you some <laughs> pictures but this is uh, twitch and um, I'm not gonna twitch won't like it yeah well, you, you can just google it and you'll find it well, anyway, uh, <laughs> this uh, 2005 album, that, that was the last album um, before the Essen incident, where... Um, the what incident? Well, he played a concert in Germany, in Essen, and uh, on his chest he had a, an upside-down cross on his stomach, and he had a swastika on his chest. And uh, you know, oh. they they you're, you, it's uh, yeah. completely illegal in Germany. So he was banned from. Yeah, uh, they don't like that over there. So he's he was banned from any German festivals, and uh, yeah, he was also banned from Germany for a while. <laughs> yeah, uh, I can see why. <laughs> Crazy motherfuckers. So uh, after the incident, he stated on his website, uh, "Torque is not a political Nazi band. Everyone should know by now that our whole concept is built upon provocation and anything evil. We truly apologize to all yeah. of our collaborators who might get problems because of the Essen swastika scandal. Except for the Untermensch owner of that club, you can go suck a Muslim dick." <laughs> And uh, the next January, he uh, put out a statement on his website. Uh, I have clearly stated that Tokyo is certainly not a political Nazi band, yet some people seem to still insist that we are. I do realize that it is rather unforgivable to display a swastika in Germany, yes. On the other hand, I strongly feel that black metal bands should allow themselves to use any kind of destructive negative symbolism as the basis of this expression is abol above all evil. Black metal is not and should never become harmless like all other styles of house broke metal. Frankly, I find it preposterous exactly it that is. we get away with lyrics about murder, torture, rape, necrophilia and suicide but get boycotted for wearing a symbol, which by the way has nothing to do with the band's concept, on one single occasion. A part of our mission is to invoke negative feelings, so I find it quite appropriate to remind our German audience of their biggest shame. <laughs> That's and fucking... so, so good. Yeah, and um, in... Uh, 2012 he was uh, nominated for Spellemans Prison which is the Norwegian Grammy Awards and uh, right and the uh, uh, the nomination committee got a lot of blast for that because um, his uh, one of the songs on his album a song called Orkan it contained uh, anti-muslim lyrics Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it was basically Inti something like, like to, lyrics, to 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 hell it. with Muhammad and the Muhammadans of forgivable custom, something like that. Um, to which he replied that it talk has never been a political it's so man, and we do not encourage violence or racism. He also said, our view 
in the name of freedom of expression is that it is shameful to adhere to Christianity or Islam. Incidentally, Christianity is mentioned in the same lyrics, but that doesn't seem to have been given any yeah. emphasis. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's okay. it's okay to bash Christianity, but Islam, no. Yeah, so, so, so basically, you know, uh, um, black metal has all, always had all these uh, anti-Christian um, lyrics, but uh, as soon as uh, somebody gets nominated yeah. for a prize and there's some anti-Muslim lyrics, wow. Oh, that's bad. Oh, yeah, but you know, uh, you're, you're pretty messed up there with that Proposition M301. Oh, man, yeah. And I, I still I, need, I, I, I still need to read the book. Ireland too. They just had a proposition Ireland. in Ireland for a new blasphemy law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just short time after the oh, uh, Canadian uh, blasphemy. This is, and it's uh, it's the same. It's ridiculous. the same thing. It's um, it's uh, something condemning Islamophobia specifically. This is going backwards. In terms of like human rights and uh, in terms of uh, uh, taking the the religion out of the state too. It's going backwards totally. system works here. God damn it. This is the song which should be playing now. Holy fucking... I had another guy jump me. Now I got a broken arm. And I bled almost to death. Just isn't your day, is it? Nope. I'm surviving though. I fucking killed that motherfucker with my axe. Oh, by the way, cheers, Skull. I mean, <laughs> drinking some beer.
Motherfucker almost ruined my backpack too. I haven't been to Germany since I was a little kid. Uh, was in Germany it was called West Germany so I haven't been to the Germany since I was a kid back in the 80s So I'm guessing even there's, if there's no song titles, there's still lyrics, right? I know when a band from here that were doing the opposite. They had song titles but no lyrics. <laughs> It's almost your birthday then. You should have remind me because I'll completely forget it. Nice fucking riff here. Oh, so your birthday the same month? Nice. Two of my brothers have birthday this month too. After the month for the birthday. My mom had birthday last month. Almost half my family has just been this around this time. So dude, did you score some bubbles?
bank subtracted a rather large bill yesterday. So I was oh. basically end ended up with about 11 Canadian dollars left on my card. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Uh, really no uh, fun time tonight. Oh man, that sucks. And I'm out of beer, so I'm drinking tea and <laughs> Next time you need beer. <laughs> or like. Alright, well, I'm gonna take a minute to get some bubbles hey, going in here. I got popcorn. Check my stream. Uh... Nice little feedback. See, yeah, the, the next one is uh, kind of a really pissed off song. The lyrics translated are, you know, like um, I condemn, I curse every bird with wings like yours and fuck the scourge that cut off mine uh, fuck be uh, fuck be him with eyes like the cat so I'll never forget it forget that night that evening should have killed you murder Nice. Man, I really don't have that much information about my album. Uh, that doesn't matter. Yeah, it's alright. So here it is. The really pissed off song. Because I really should, should, have, should have killed you, but I didn't. Fuck. <laughs> That's probably what Euronymous thought after he died. <laughs> Oh, it seems it seems fine to me. 
Yeah, silver's good to me. We can change though. Oh, there's my thingies. If I can find a better one. All right. But yeah, you wanted to do a low pop, so we have a chance to meet up before getting wrecked. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Bubbles are done. Does she have a server? Oh, nice! I spawned with a bunch of shit. This character is loaded. Nice. I'm far, though. Yeah, I'm... I'm way up north. Yeah, me too. Where are you at? I'm trying to find out. That's not good. I'm 
I'm right next to the military base, up north at uh, Severgrad. Can't remember the name of the military base. This album really sounds old school. What? This album really sounds old school. Oh yeah. I'm guessing they haven't changed much since they started. Yeah, Toki started his um, career back in 93, I think. So it wasn't, he was yeah. there almost in the beginning. Yeah, he had, he had a band called Thule, uh, like in Ultima Thule. And, um, yeah, yeah. In 95 he changed the name of his band to, uh, to uh, Tokyo, and it's been that ever since. Okay. Good to see you again, Graham. This part is pretty doomy. So yeah, th this um 
album had a session uh, I guess from Capotin uh, Forest, from uh, Amok and from the Battalion. What do they play? What? What do they play? Well, uh, Amok is an old black metal band. And, uh, okay. The battalion is basically... Uh, it's basically... Uh, Kind of a black thrash uh, band with uh, the. Is it the Dane band? Yeah, it's a Bergen band. It's um, it's old funeral oh, okay. without without uh, Abbott and Mark uh, Vikernes. Okay. King Kishi. Greenery, I've seen you in a while. <laughs> Man, I almost died of hypothermia right there. Got my fire going just in time. How about yourself? Haven't seen you in ages. Just found a completely ripped out car. Well, I haven't been streaming now for uh, over two months. So, this is my first stream in ages actually. Start the start of uh, something fresh and new. Ah. Oh, you know what they say school first. Hope you're doing well. What are your majors in college then? Hey, I gotta be right back. Oh, you don't have a gaming rig. Some of you work on I suppose that's digital virology, not uh, biological warfare virology.
that. This roof is pretty rock and roll. Alright, I'm finally warmed up. I ate, I'm energized. I'm ready to move. <laughs> Where you at? You know? I didn't imagine them playing that kind of more, more catchy riffs like that. You didn't imagine them having catchy riffs? Not, not like, like those. I thought they were like more uh, I don't know, more simple, like black metal, full picking all the time. No oh man, it's it's good black metal, it's not shitty black metal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know I, I know it's good black metal though. I'm on my way back towards the, the North Highway, then I'll have rest. Well, slowly, because I'm not even a several guys yet.
man. I, I just found the rarest thing. Black gloves, man. in the doorway, okay. I like that little uh, uh, more scream vocal than like growl. Like. This one.
There's, there's a couple pretty chill parts in this album. I guess. 